YouTube today I'm going to show you how to install Sonic Android 1.1 on your Android device. Here I'm using my Micro Max Q4 for installing it. So here you can see it's the original Star Chrome currently installed. I've not installed it yet. So you can see it's original Star Chrome. Um, I'll show you the details. So here you can see in about phone you can see it's Android 5.0. Micro Max Q3 do everything is original right now. So we have not done anything, just I booted my phone so that I can install custom recovery options. Um, you have to, yeah, first uh, installing any custom ROM, you have to first install uh, custom ROM, custom recovery TV, TWRP 3.0 on your phone. So I have already installed it, uh, here you can see you install it. Just download the recovery.img file of that TWRP 3.0 and down and download this app mobile and cool tools and here yeah you have to also root your phone before that you can do it by thing root or any app uh, i have already shown the video about how to root your micro max q380 and everything so here you can you're gonna go to the recovery update and you have to put your recovery.imd file in the sd card root folder then here it will display recovery.imd then you have to tap on it and then install it it will take two four seconds and you will be done now so i've uh, make made all of my chat backups and everything so i'm now ready to install okay sino 12.1 on my phone so i will just re i will just power up my device so it's now turning up Now it's half turned off. Now I'm gonna go to recovery mode by pressing the power up um, and uh, and the power key. Okay. So here I would press it until it comes up. So you can see. Yeah, here is the Micro Max icon. And here, here I'm doing DWRP 3.0. Just open in 10 seconds, I guess. It's Team Win Recovery Project 3.0. It's the most recommended recovery tool for any Android device for custom recovery. So now uh, it's now open. Now, before we do that, we have to wipe our internal storage. So you have to keep all of your files, important files, in your SD card before doing that because all of them will be wiped out. You can't get it back. Okay. So, so now I would just go to wipe, and here you can see there is an option uh, advanced wipe. Uh, I go to advanced wipe now. Here I get some options like uh, checkboxes for so for installing ROM, for removing ROM, custom ROM, your stock ROM. I mean, um, you have to tick cache and Delny cache. Where is this? Yeah, the only cache and uh, system and data. System and data. All four things are touched down. Are now ticks. Now we are ready to now just swipe it and it will start the cleanup process. So now it's cleaning up. Oh my god, I'm cleaning up my phone. Okay, but well, I'm already back up all of the things, so nothing to worry about. So now doing all the things, I will solve it. Now, yeah, it's now done. You can see. Yeah. Now, if it go to back, I will just go back and and again back and and again there. You can see after tapping wipe, you can see this option and there's advanced advanced swipe option where we already go then we can see it's a format data option so we will just tap on it and we have to type yes y e s yes here you have to type yes then you're gonna tick it and start cleaning up your data format data format data using recovery and updating percentiles then and you can see here it's done so now we're gonna go back and again back and again back and you can see the home screen of the recovery tool and now 
So now we have done everything. We have cleaned up our custom stock room. Now we're gonna install our custom room, okay? So before for doing that, we have to go to the install option. So now here we in the install option up A level. Now when select here, here I'm in the root folder. Now I will go to external SD. External SD, you can see external SD here. And now here, here I have my files. So now I have kept my Cyanogen OS in the Cyanogen folder. I have created in the SD card. And here it is, you can see Cyanogen folder. And here it is Cyanogen. And we have to first install the Cyanogen 12.1. This is the main ROM file, so I will just tap on it and then it will ask again a layout like this and you have to just swipe there to install. So now I have swiped in here, now it's installing. So now it's installing my custom ROM that is Cyanogen 12.1. Extracting. Okay, extracting it will not take up some time I guess it could take up to 20 minutes I don't know I'm not done anything yet before this is my first time this is my first experience but I've already bought I've seen how to do it it will take some time yeah. Chrome was about 800 MB when I downloaded the stock Chrome from a website. So it was 800 MB and I have downloaded this and it is 500 MB. It is around 500 MB as only. So now we will get 300 MB more. So get more storage. Get full full control over our phone. That's all we want. We have added. Taking time, time. I heard it could take about 20 minutes. I guess. Just you have to wait. Just be patient. That's all. Yeah. Also, keep your battery charge, full charge. I've kept my hand. I kept my 98% battery. Now it's 96. But you have to keep it on because you have to install full room. If it, if your battery goes down then you will not be able to charge it because the charging soft charging application which makes the phone get charged will also is also all currently wiped up so now you can if you connect the charger it will not be charged so now we have completed the installation process it take about it take me about 5 minutes uh, not more five minutes. It could have taken two, three minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Okay, maximum. So now it says install done. Okay. So now we gonna install other things. So now we have to install bug fix. I mean, there were some bugs in 12.1. So I downloaded some bug fix patches so that there would be no bugs. So now here you can see. Now again the same. Now, and then it's scrolling, setting permissions, and now you can see here on the screen. Yeah, it's now done. Okay, so now let's go back and now open the apps. It's the D D apps is the Google apps. Okay. So you, they're all updated Google apps. So you know. That could be that would be already installed on your phone. So now again swiping it up. So you can see open G apps that's cool. And installing for G apps, that is Google Apps. Mounting system, gathering device and room. Oh, installing Google Apps would take some time. Because we 
we have a bunch of apps with a great number of apps we have to install it and it takes about 20-30 uh, seconds for installing one app so it would take some time I guess but now it's done no no it would not take some time so now it's done so now we have to wipe this scan okay so now we have to after completing those three files now we have to clean up wipe wipe the cache and the delvic cache so now we will go to wipe and delvic wipe cache and delvic it's ax yeah so it's clean up now it's done it says done so now we're gonna go back go back go back um, 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 um yeah now installation complete everything complete we have installed google apps we have installed the patch for errors and we have installed the original room now we're gonna reboot our phone you can see there's another option there was an option also there you can reboot from there too uh, but i will reboot from here no problem reboot system so now let's see what we have done so here in micromax because i'm worried where it's installed in not but I know it would, be, it would be installed. Here you can see Sanogen 12.1. I can play it the first time. Boot up on the phone. This first time I've installed any customer on phone, and it's I think I'm successful. Oh, so though, you're gonna do that. Um, it's cool. This looks cool. Sanogen 12.1. You can see. Cool like it. it would take about 20 minutes, I guess, 15 to 20 minutes to boot for the first time. Then it would take less, lesser time. Here you can see. Uh, we are now after the bootloader icon. You can see it's Android is starting optimizing app. It's, it's optimizing all of the apps that were installed. So it's optimizing all of the apps. It have taken me about four or five minutes to get into that screen. Now four minutes for this, and I think it would take also four minutes. So we can say it would take about eight minutes to boot up your phone after installing your Sinogen 12.1 still 25 of 88 so now we are at 84 of 88 apps are now optimized only 4 apps left it have taken about 2 minutes uh, approximately two minutes. So now only four apps left. Now 184 of 88. You can see 84 of 88. 85 of 88. Let's wait some time. Just keep patient. Don't turn off your phone. Just keep your battery full so that it should not turn off during the process. Be ready okay for battery goes you I think Oops. Uh, starting apps up all apps upgrading contacts database finishing boot tango drive tango I backed up all of my contacts I will not lost them I'm no no need to put my status all of my contacts lost and whatever so now it's have started Sinogen 12 for Sinogen we where is the English shops? Swag, what is this? Come on. Let's find English. Why Hindi? I cannot run my phone in Hindi language. I'm totally confused. I, mean, I know Hindi, but. Yeah. Um, English India? Yeah, English India. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So now we will, you know, the basic things next. Just a second, select Wi-Fi network. I would say skip. If you skip, uh, yeah, skip anyway. I don't wanna do anything right now. I will turn off data. I will turn off data. I don't have any internet right now. Help me improve Sanogen mode, yeah, I will use Google location, these services put Google to refer you, you can turn them more than it. Hello apps to have access to improve location accuracy, Google solutions. Yeah, but take it too, I need them. 
date and time. So it's GMT 520 here, 10, 9, 20, 10, 16, and 20, 40, 80, 48, 47. I've set the time too, it will automatically set. Yeah, here it is. Welcome to sign it mode. Now, startup. Now it's booting. Yeah, I'm in. Welcome. Yeah, I got it. So now it's Cyanogen 12.1. So now here you can see this uh, the app launcher is. You can change it too. And now here it's in the set. Here in the settings, you can go to. I will go to about phone. And here you can see my Android version was 5.0 previous, and now it's 5.1.1. And now Android security everything and here where is the yeah Cyanogen mode version 12.1 Okay so now we have done it did it one hour 44 minutes so, um, so here how you can change, change the full screen and everything well you can change it okay so now my I turned on my this is turned on I've turned it off. Yeah, you can turn it off. Thank you. So, so now we are done with this. Now we have installed Cyanogen 12.1 on Micromax Q380. So we now are ready to get it the world of Cyanogen 12.1. So thank you for watching my video. Hope you like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also install Cyanogen 12.1 on your phone. Thank you.